Hello students, welcome for this session in English and we'll begin with so solving some of the activities which are related uh, to your English exam which we have discussed in the earlier video. All right, before we begin, we'll just say a word of prayer and this prayer is specially for the students. We pray for children everywhere that they may be guided to become honest and kind citizens of tomorrow caring for each other and our planet. Bless all those children who are studying remotely via online classes. May they be able to focus and grow in wisdom and intellect. We also pray for those children who cannot afford an education and are forced into other activities to earn their livelihood. Help them face their daily struggles and protect them from all harm and danger. Be their source of hope and strength and provide for their needs. We make this prayer through your holy name. Amen. All right. So today we'll be discussing one of the activities which is related to the first question in your question paper. So I'll be giving you uh, a particular passage. And depending on that passage, you will need to solve the questions which I'll be uh, telling you in some time. So if you have your textbook, you can turn with me to page number 45. And the name of the lesson is the cop and the anthem. Or you can check in the index, the page number, and open that particular lesson that is the cop and the anthem. All right, so this is the first question which we have discussed uh, in the previous video. It goes like this. Question 1A, read the given extract and complete the activity given below. All right. So we'll just solve this and we'll try to see what problems uh, you all are facing regarding uh, passage reading and writing those answers. So I request you all to take out your textbooks or refer to them later and go through the entire lesson, especially this particular paragraph, which I'm going to continue with. That is, here was an old church till the last word in the lesson. So towards the end of your this particular lesson, you will find these lines and I will just read those for you all. And before you we go through this, just write down one of the questions that is read the given extract and complete the activity given below. So activity one is describe the atmosphere when Sopi reached near the church. I'll repeat the question. Activity one. Describe the atmosphere when Sopi reached near the church. First option is, there are four options uh, expected. So I'm helping you with the first one. A soft light glowed through the violet stained window. So I've already told you the first answer. That is, a soft light glowed through the violet stained window. All right. So remaining three options, that is, your answer for this particular question now keep in mind most of these questions have answers uh, like they are only for two marks so accordingly you need to answer now i'll read this particular paragraph uh, for you pay attention in your textbook and after this we will go through the next set of questions here was an old church quaint and rambling and gabbled through one, through one violet-stained window, a soft light glowed, where no doubt the organist loitered over the keys, making sure of his mastery of the coming Sabbath anthem. For there drifted out to Sophie's ears sweet music that caught and held him transfixed against the convulsions of the iron fence. The moon was above, full and radiant, Vehicles and pedestrians were few. Sparrows twittered sleepily in the eaves or a little while. The scene might have been a country churchyard. And the anthem that the organist played cemented Sophie to the iron fence. For he had known it well in the days when his life contained such things as mothers and roses and ambitions and friends and immaculate thoughts and colors. 
the conjunction of Sophie's receptive state of mind and the influences about the old church brought a sudden and wonderful change in his soul. He viewed with rising horror the pit into which he had tumbled, the degraded days, unworthy desires, dead hopes, wrecked faculties and base motives that made up his existence. And also in a moment, his heart responded thrillingly to this strange mood. A strong impulse moved him to battle with his desperate fate. He would pull himself out of the mire and would make a man of himself again. He would conquer the evil that had enslaved him. There was time. He was young, yet he would resurrect his old eager ambitions and pursue them without faltering. Those solemn but sweet organ notes had set up a revolution in him. Tomorrow he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. A fur importer had once offered him a place as driver. He would be somebody in the world. He would. Sophie felt a hand laid on his arm. He looked quickly around into the impassive face of a policeman. What are you doing here? said the officer. Nothing, said Sophie. Then come along, said the policeman. Three months on the island, said the magistrate in the police court the next morning. Now we have already learned this particular lesson. You can refer to the previous videos what exactly this lesson is about. All right. That is the cop and the anthem where we see that Sophie is making like he's having a criminal background and he's making deliberate efforts to get back into the jail. Why does he want to enter the jail? Because the present condition that is um, he's going to face harsh winters ahead and he doesn't even have a home. So the best place uh, which he thinks which can give him uh, protection, warmth and food, that is the prison. So he makes various uh, attempts to enter the jail like uh, he does many activities which we have seen earlier in the earlier videos where he makes uh, many attempts to get arrested but he doesn't get arrested finally in the end when he thinks that he is going to be a changed man a different man at that time at that particular moment his life is changed again he is arrested all right so that's the end of the story so related to this particular passage, there are a few questions which I would like you all to note down. So first question is, I have already uh, told you the first one, that is you have to describe the atmosphere where Sophie reached the church. Second activity, complete the following. Now this is sort of a fill in the blank. Complete the following, second activity. After listening to the sweet and solemn organ notes, Sophie decides to. All right, so there are two options. Again, this question is for two marks. So you will have to write uh, two reasons you'll have to give that what does Sophie decide to do after he listens to the church music which is being played and it literally transforms his heart. Question three, activity three. Guess out the specific meaning of the word anthem in the context of the story. And repeat, guess out the specific meaning of the word anthem in the context of the story. Again, this is for two marks. Activity four, write an incident in which you did something wrong and repented for it later. Write at least two reasons for your repentance. I'll repeat the question. Write an incident in which you did something wrong and repented for it later. Write at least two reasons for your repentance. Next, activity five that is related to your language study. Please note down these questions and make an attempt to solve these. They are very simple. I hope you will uh, take the efforts to solve uh, these activities which I'm sharing with you all. Language study, first one. Now you will need to write down these questions. What are you doing here? Asked the officer. Now you have to change this 
sentence into indirect speech. Change it into indirect speech and repeat the question. What are you doing here? Said the officer. Change it into indirect speech. Second sentence. Second question. Tomorrow he would go into the roaring downtown district. Tomorrow he would go into the roaring downtown district. Now you have to frame a WH question to get the underlined part as your answer. Now the part which you are supposed to underline is in the roaring downtown district. Into the roaring downtown district. You have to underline this particular part of the sentence and you have to frame a WH question to get the underlined part as your answer. All right. So here are some word meanings which are coming up in the next question that is related to vocabulary. So I would uh, request you to find the meanings of these uh, words. All right. First, quaint. Q-U-A-I-N-T, quaint. Second, transfixed. Transfixed. Third, impulse. Impulse. And the fourth one is resurrect. I'll repeat all. Quaint, transfixed, impulse, resurrect. All right. So you have to find the meaning from these options given to you. I'll read out the options and accordingly you can just uh, write down the correct meaning for each and every word. First option is strong wish or urge. Second, restore to life. Third, to stand with complete focused attention. Fourth, attractively unusual, old fashioned. Fifth, to bring to views. I'll repeat these options, pay attention. Strong wish or urge, first one. Second, restore to life. Third, to stand with complete focused attention. Fourth, attractively unusual, old fashioned. Next, last option is to bring to view. All right, so that is related to your vocabulary section. That is A6 vocabulary. Now just jot down the last few questions quickly. Question 1B. Now this is the second part of the first uh, question. Now this is uh, related to non-textual grammar, which is uh, not related to your this particular lesson. So do as directed is the first question here. First one. My wish is to soar like dash bird in dash sky of freedom. I'll repeat the question. My wish is to soar like dash bird in dash sky of freedom. Now you have to fill in the blanks with suitable articles and rewrite the entire sentence again. Is it clear? You have to fill in the blanks with suitable articles. All right. Second question. He is good dash English, but weak dash mathematics. I'll repeat the question. He is good dash English, but weak dash mathematics. Now here you have to fill in with proper prepositions. All right. And rewrite the entire sentence. Fill in the blanks with suitable prepositions and rewrite the sentence given again. Third question. LIC is one of the most popular insurance companies in India. LIC is one of the most popular insurance companies in India. Rewrite your answer beginning with very few. Rewrite your answer with beginning with very few. All right. So these are your three questions. And the second part now, first one we have already done, that is question 1B. First part, do as directed. Second part, spot the error and write the sentences. So the previous uh, three uh, sentences are for three marks. And spot the error and rewrite the sentence is for one mark. All right? The question is, the sceneries of Darjeeling are very Beautiful. The sceneries of Darjeeling are very beautiful. 
so you have to identify what is the mistake in this particular sentence and uh, rectify the sentence and write the correct answer all right incomplete sentences not only that particular word but uh, we want the entire answer to be written as it is so for today i think so so much is enough maybe in the next uh, videos we can go through the entire question paper so this is just a uh, attempt to help you to just solve these questions read your lessons all right so i hope to see your answers coming up on the groups and maybe in a couple of days i'll uh, like tell you the answers as well so that you can check whether you are going correct or wrong so thank you so much for listening uh, to me so patiently thank you all so much